Every hour of every day, some among us scan the skies, listening for alien civilizations. Right now, as we speak, there are telescopes searching the skies for signals, for hints, for a sign of civilizations once pick up a tantalizing signal. Something caught the attention of the world's most powerful telescope. One section of a recent JWST deep field image was quietly withheld for eight weeks. When it was finally released, the data showed something no one could explain. Renowned physicist Brian Cox has hinted that this image might be more than just cosmic dust. What if we're looking at the first indirect evidence that we're not alone in the universe? Today, we're exploring the grounded scientific clues that suggest an extraordinary possibility. This isn't science fiction or conspiracy theories. This is about real telescope data and questions that have left the scientific community searching for answers. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us unprecedented views of the cosmos, peering deeper into space and time than ever before. But sometimes what we find raises more questions than answers. And these particular findings may be the most significant in human history. What you're about to see is based on actual astronomical observations, cutting-edge research, and expert analysis. The implications are nothing short of revolutionary. The image that has astronomers buzzing was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope and shows the galaxy cluster SMACS0723. This incredible deep field image reveals thousands of galaxies in a patch of sky the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. It's a window into the universe as it existed billions of years ago, showcasing the telescope's unprecedented capabilities. But there's something most people don't know. When this image was first processed, not all of it was immediately released to the public. One specific section was held back for additional analysis with NASA citing data calibration issues that needed further review. That delay stretched to eight weeks, an unusually long time for what should have been a routine calibration. NASA subcontractor Dr. Elani Vasquez was among the first to review this mysterious segment. What she found was a highly localized mid-infrared anomaly that defied conventional explanation. It was unlike anything I'd seen before. Dr. Vasquez later revealed, we were looking at an object that didn't behave like any natural phenomenon we've modeled so far. The infrared signature showed patterns that simply shouldn't exist according to our current understanding of astrophysics. The anomaly appeared as a distinctive heat signature, but with characteristics that couldn't be explained by known stellar processes, gas clouds, or gravitational effects. Whatever this was, it didn't fit neatly into any category of cosmic object we've documented before. When scientists finally got their hands on the complete spectral data from this mysterious region, what they found was even more bewildering. Hidden within the light spectrum were non-random pulse gaps, regular intervals that shouldn't exist in natural cosmic phenomena. These weren't just random fluctuations. When analyzed through Fourier transformation, a mathematical technique used to identify patterns in complex signals, they revealed a structured periodicity. In simpler terms, there was a rhythm to the light, something rarely seen in astronomical data and less produced by very specific natural processes. This is where Brian Cox's assessment becomes particularly significant. The renowned physicist stated, this kind of structured periodicity isn't seen in natural sources unless there's a rotation or artificial gating mechanism. Cox's statement is measured but profound. In astronomy, regular patterns usually come from rotating objects like pulsars, neutron stars that spin and emit beams of radiation. But this wasn't behaving like a pulsar or any other known rotating cosmic object. The closest scientific parallel we have are fast radio bursts orbs, powerful blasts of radio waves from deep space. Some RBS have been found to repeat in patterns like 121102, music, which shows regular cycles of activity. But even these don't display the kind of precise periodicity found in the JWST data. What makes this discovery so compelling is that in our search for techno-signatures, signs of advanced technology, scientists have long suggested that artificially modulated signals would stand out precisely because of their non-random mathematical structure. Nature produces patterns, but rarely with the precision seen in this data. If you're finding this as fascinating as we do, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We bring you the latest on groundbreaking astronomical discoveries that you won't hear about anywhere else. Now, let's dive deeper into what this anomaly might actually be. But here's where things take an even more intriguing turn. 
What if this signal wasn't meant for us at all? What if we've accidentally glimpsed something that was never intended to be seen? This brings us to a fascinating concept in astrobiology and cosmic evolution called the Dark Forest Hypothesis. The theory popularized by physicist and science fiction author Lu Chixin suggests a chilling explanation for the apparent silence in our universe. Perhaps advanced civilizations deliberately stay hidden, maintaining radio silence to avoid detection by potentially hostile forces. In this scenario, the cosmos is like a dark forest where predators lurk and the safest strategy is to remain completely undetected. Any civilization that announces its presence risks extinction. Every intelligent species might understand this principle and therefore choose to remain silent and hidden. Astrobiologist Dr. Kamal Reyes offered a compelling analogy when reviewing the anomalous data. It's like catching the glow of a submarine periscope in infrared. It's not a message. It's a mistake. This perspective transforms how we interpret the anomaly. Rather than a beacon or broadcast aimed at making contact, we might be witnessing the technological equivalent of an accidental leak, a momentary glimpse of an advanced civilization that generally conceals its existence. The implications are profound. If Dr. Reyes is correct, we may have inadvertently detected a civilization so advanced that it has deliberately hidden itself from the cosmos for millennia, only to be betrayed by a fleeting technological signature that our newest telescope happened to capture. But what exactly did we detect? The answer might lie in concepts that seem like science fiction, but are actually grounded in theoretical physics and engineering. In what might be one of the most remarkable coincidences in astronomical history, the anomaly wasn't just detected by the James Webb Space Telescope. Around the same time, billions of kilometers away at the edge of our solar system, Voyager 2 recorded something unusual. NASA's legendary spacecraft, now traveling through interstellar space, experienced a slight deviation in its star tracker system. This sensitive instrument helps Voyager navigate by fixing on the positions of distant stars. The deviation was minor, so small that it might have been dismissed as instrument noise under normal circumstances. But here's the astonishing part. When engineers traced the coordinates of this glitch, they discovered it aligned with the exact same direction as the JWST deep field image containing the anomaly. Two completely independent instruments separated by billions of kilometers both registered unusual activity pointing toward the same region of space. The probability of this being random is vanishingly small, noted one JPL analyst who reviewed the data. We're talking about two entirely different detection systems operating on different principles, both registering anomalies from the same cosmic address. This alignment doesn't prove anything conclusive, but it raises a chilling possibility. Whatever caused the anomaly in the JWST image might be significant enough to affect Voyager's instruments as well, despite the vast distance between them. Scientists remain cautious, emphasizing that correlation doesn't imply causation. Yet, the coincidence is difficult to ignore. It adds another layer of mystery to an already puzzling discovery. And then comes the theory that breaks everything we thought we knew about the limitations of advanced civilizations. What if what we're seeing isn't just an anomalous signal, but evidence of something far more extraordinary, a megastructure of almost unimaginable scale and complexity? Computer modeling of the infrared distribution in the anomalous region has revealed something that's sending shock waves through the scientific community. The heat signatures form distinct concentric thermal rings, a pattern that doesn't match any known natural astronomical phenomenon. This thermal pattern is consistent with what theoretical physicists call a Matrioska brain, a hypothetical megastructure first proposed by mathematician and computer scientist Robert Bradbury. Named after Russian nesting dolls, a Matrioska brain consists of multiple concentric shells built around a star, each capturing energy that radiates outward from the one inside it. Unlike the more commonly discussed Dyson sphere, which primarily harvests energy, a Matrioska brain would be designed for computing power, potentially housing an entire digital civilization. Each shell would operate at a different temperature with the innermost being the hottest and each successive layer cooler, maximizing thermodynamic efficiency. This is exactly the pattern that appears in the thermal mapping of the JWST anomaly. A series of nested heat signatures decreasing in temperature from the center outward. When presented with this analysis, Brian Cox provided a perspective that's both sobering and exhilarating. If we ever found a structure like this, it wouldn't be horrendously surprising. It would be inevitable. 
Cox's statement reflects a growing sentiment among astrophysicists that given the age and vastness of our universe, advanced civilizations capable of stellar-scale engineering should exist. With approximately 20 billion Earth-like planets in our galaxy alone, the emergence of at least a few technologically advanced species seems statistically likely. What makes this discovery so compelling is not just the pattern itself, but the fact that no known natural phenomenon creates this kind of thermal distribution. Stars, nebulae, gas clouds, and even galactic collisions all produce different infrared signatures. This stands apart from anything in our astronomical catalogues.